Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with um, Tuesday morning chit chat. It's Tuesday morning. I'm on my way to work as usual. This morning, I did not even try to work out because I told y'all what happened yesterday with my knees, and I just said I can't do it. I really can't. I gotta think out up something different. I gotta find a way to work out with some weights or something to um, burn some calories other than jumping on these knees and maybe um it doesn't seem to hurt as bad when i walk so maybe i just need to do the walking track and just walk 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 like not treadmill walk or um or the walk away the pound things because you know i'm doing leg lifts and kicks and you know reaching and stuff like that so that might be putting a little extra strain on the knees but just a general basic walk might be what I need to do so I need to try that as well so maybe um, I'm going to I haven't decided what day I'm going to do it yet though but I need to start like walking the walking track at work um, go to the gym and walk the walking track after work only thing is is when I get off it's kind of dark you know because I get off at six o'clock and it's dark here, and I don't want to be walking the track at night, you know, which I could go inside. There's an indoor track that you can walk around the equipment, so I could do that on my days that I'm going to walk around. And then also, I want to um, start back with the weights. I think working out with the weight machines is not putting a lot of stress on my knees. Now, the ones that you... Um, actually do like leg movements and motion with maybe I won't do those because they probably do but just work the arms and you know the ones that do the ab do that one you know and just you know just kind of work around my ailments until I feel like I can get them stronger or until something um, gets a little bit better so yeah so I'm hoping and praying that I can find a way around this knee pain that I'm having. Just like I told y'all, I was having good days. My knees felt good. They did not ache me. But it could be that there's some cold weather coming and then, you know, when we get rain, you know, those joints, they're just going to act up. So it could be that. So maybe on my good days, I mean, my very good days, I will just um, try to do some other additional workouts. But... Yeah, it's kind of a bummer right now. It's kind of, it saddens me. I'm sad. It makes me sad that I want to work out and get back into it, but my knees are not allowing me. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't want a joint replacement. I do not want a knee replacement. Yes, maybe it'll make me be able to do a little bit more, but I just don't want, I, I don't want to go through that surgery because it's painful. And people who have had it have survived. Some have even come back and got their other knee done, like right after that one, and just have gone on. But I don't know. I'm just fearful of that knee surgery and having to go through that. That's just the honest to God truth. I am. Yeah, I'm nursing. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen the bad end of it because I've been in rehab. <laughs> So I seen what some of the bad is, and I seen some good. Seen some people get right up like they ain't even had no surgery, but I have seen some sit there and cry like they have, you know. So I seen both ways, okay. So I don't want to be the one crying like <laughs> I don't want to be the one crying. So yeah. So anyway, it's um. It's all good, and I think I would be tough. I think I would be tough at it. Yeah, I think I would. I would be tough. I'll push through it. So anyway, yeah, this is me looking like. Every time I look at myself, I'm like, oh god, looking like old school teacher from back in the '60s. Okay, <laughs> I either look like a school teacher from the '60s when I have it pulled back, or I really look like a school teacher, let's say from the '70s or the '80s with this one right here. I'm, I can't do anything with my head. Okay, I pressed it out and I put the curls in there and ah, help me. <laughs> I need help. I don't know. Maybe
maybe I should have put a headband on or something to make it look a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I'm going on in there. I'm almost 50, so I'm entitled to look like an old woman, right? I don't want to look like an old woman. <laughs> I don't want to look my age. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, it is what it is. I just got to deal with it. I got to learn to adapt. This old thin, straggly hair just has never done right all my life. It has never done right only if I kept a short cut. Have my hair ever done right or ever looked right? It has to be um, a totally short cut for my hair to look right. It has never looked right out long. Now, I did used to wear like um, where the girl would go in, she would perm my hair wrap it and I would wear the wrap look and it looked good and it looked healthy it really did with the wrap look but it's like I can't even get the wrap look to look right <laughs> what? yeah so anywho it is what it is okay I'm just gonna keep on doing my deep conditioners and my condition and just keep on working with it. I probably do need to go get my ends trimmed some, you know. But when you go to a beautician to get your ends trimmed, y'all know like I know, you wind up getting more than just a trim. They start cutting all your hair and you come back and you be like, your hair might be here when you go, but when you come back, it's going to be up to here because all of this is going to be damaged now because they want to cut something. I'd be like, so, so anyway, I probably do need to go and just get a good trim up and start back with that is probably what I need to do. And maybe that will make it look a tad bit healthier or whatever. But for now, it is what it is. I got this and that's what I'm sticking with. I'm sticking with it. So I didn't do any wedding, anything last night. I know I should have been, but I did um, I will, I'm going to get back on it tonight and finish up my invitations and doing what I'm going to do with that so I can start, you know, putting names on them or, you know, mailing off the ones that I need to mail off to and things like that. Also, um, what else do I want to say? I think that's all I got to say, y'all, because I don't want this video to cut off because I don't really know how much time I have um, left. I really don't. I just wanted to come in. Y'all know I get bored quick, and I'll come in and make a quick little video. But as far as coupon, and I'm not doing anything. Um, I know Harris Teeter. I don't know if this is the last day of Super Doubles or not because I know it started on a Sunday. And I don't know if they went three days with it or what. I'm not sure. I know this is the last day of the sale week. And they're, they have Deer Park Water on sale three for ten if you can find any. Okay. By now, you might not be able to find any. We have the dollar off of the Deer Park, which is going to double. You're going to wind up paying $4 plus tax for the um, for three cases of Deer Park water, which is not bad. That's a dollar and some change a case. So that's a good deal. And that's the only thing that I really would do. I do have my coupons to go look for it when I get off work this afternoon. Hopefully there'll be some, might not. Um, I did leave Derek a cute little honeydew list with the um, Harris Teeter and doing the Deer Park water and telling him what he got, what he should do, what he should give him, like a little note. And then at the end I wrote, I love you, make me proud. <laughs> Oh, make me proud. Coupon, 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 okay? <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off here for now because I, I don't really have anything to talk about. But I will talk with you guys later. As always, do what? Remember to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.